Hey fam, you may not know this, but frequent injury or pain to your knees, hips, and lower back can all stem from your ankle mobility. In this video, I'm gonna show you two ankle mobility exercises that will not only help you avoid injury and relieve pain, but also really help your training technique, especially activating the correct muscles. Let's get into exercise number one. This is really gonna hone in on our big toe mobility the most but it is also really going to help to improve the mobility we have through our ankle as well. So to do this exercise, we are going to get down onto the ground. And of course, you're going to be wearing no shoes for this one. Coming into a kneeling position, hands are on the ground underneath your shoulders. We're going to curl the toes under and slowly start to lower the bottom onto the heels. This is level one. You might already start to feel a stretch through the arch of your foot and through the big toe. If you want a little bit more, we're starting to walk the hands closer to the knees and come to level two. If you want more again, we're going to come all the way up with the chest. So the full upper body weight is now pressing down into the heels and into the feet. So this exercise is really helping with big toe dorsiflexion. So we're really getting that big toe bent back and also improving the flexibility of the arch of the foot. This is gonna help flexibility in your Achilles, in your calves, in your hamstrings, glutes, and even all the way into your lower back. So an awesome stretch to do to improve your posterior chain flexibility. Now, just make sure that when you are in this stretch, we want the heel to be directly under the sitting bones. So make sure they're not falling outwards. Try and keep the heels in nice and tight. So the heels are directly under the sitting bones and above the big toes. At any time you need a rest, you can slowly lean forward and tap the tops of the feet, and then you can come back into the stretch. So you wanna repeat the stretch about two to three times, holding for as long as you can. Okay, moving into exercise number two, we are going to stay down on the ground. And for this exercise, we need a nice heavy weight. So I am using 12.5 kilos or about 27 pounds. So find a dumbbell, you can also use a kettlebell and we're gonna come into a lunge position. So bringing the left foot forward, we're gonna place the dumbbell onto the thigh. So just above the knee. Starting to guide the knee forward, you can already start to notice we're really flexing through the ankle here. So closing down the angle of the ankle joint. Slide the back knee back a little bit more and continue to push the knee forward. Now the whole time we want to be pressing the heel down into the ground. That is really going to help us to get that nice deep angle through the ankle. The weight is helping to push the knee forward and really assist us to get that deep stretch through the Achilles and through the calves. So for this stretch, we really want to give the body time to release and relax into the ankle joint. So really closing down the angle of the ankle. So give it about a minute or 10 really long, deep breaths in and out. Both of these exercises are awesome to include in your warm up because you'll instantly feel the benefits in your workout. Not only will you feel yourself move differently with better mobility, but you also feel the correct muscles activating. So if you suffer from things like overactive quads or underactive glutes like me, you will instantly feel the difference. Try to include these exercises at least twice a week or each time you do any lower body exercises in your workout. Remember, more is always better as well. So if you suffer from frequent lower body injuries or pain, try and do these mobility exercises as much as you can and I promise you, you will feel the benefits. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment below and hit subscribe. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.